Girl, I always acknowledge you Stated everything on you, eh Go give me all your love Yeah, eh, eh. Without you, I can't function eh, eh, eh. Baby, give me all your love Yeah, eh, eh. I need you, I can't deny it. Baby, you are the one Baby, give me all your love Hey guys, welcome back to us always. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below, turn on your post notifications, that we get notified every time we post a video. Today we are doing a, another food vlog, as you guys can tell by the little intro and the title, of course. We are going to be doing Bo's mom's granny's. <laughs> Granny special recipe, lasagna. Yes, so we did try it for a very first time the specific recipe when benny was here and a lot of you guys were like oh my god please share the recipe so we are doing that today so we went ahead and went to the store earlier so we're going to kind of go down the list so make sure to go get your paper and pen ready yeah. and write it's down pretty ingredients. simple to be honest it's actually really really simple okay so the first ingredient is lasagna, lasagna noodles pasta. or noodle pasta same thing lasagna noodles <laughs> And then you are going to need Prego traditional sauce. If you like ragu, you can go ahead and go with ragu, but we're gonna be using Prego. Yeah. You are going to be needing one pound. ground beef. We do get the one that has like the least amount of fat, which is the 7%, I believe, right? That's like the least amount of fat, right? I don't know what it says here. But I think this one is the yeah, one that they sell in. Yeah, whatever you said, yeah. yeah. And then you are going to be needing mushrooms. A thing of zucchini, zucchini squash, zucchini, zucchini squash, whatever you want to call it. A thing of bell pepper, yellow onion, and you will be needing three different types of cheese. I'm not going to use a pound for everything, it's like half a pound. Yeah, but we like to keep extra cheese. So basically, we are going to be using mild cheddar cheese, shredded, all shredded cheese, mozzarella cheese, and Monterey or Kobe and Monterey Jack cheese. I mean, you could buy it by itself and shred it yourself, but that's a lot of work. <laughs> and last time Bo did forget this main ingredient and we made sure that this time we did and have it. it. Handle pineapples. <laughs> we did get cottage cheese. Yeah. Making sure to have nothing else. <laughs> and just make sure that it's small curd. Yeah. So we already have the water boiling in a big pot like you see here and Bo's about to sprinkle some oil in there. Just that way our noodles yeah. don't stick together. Just a little bit. We're gonna be taking our lasagna noodles and putting oh, them shoot. into the pot and just letting it cook. That's hard too. Yeah, I wouldn't try to push it down, let it cook for a little bit, and then it'll get soft and then push the rest yeah. down. Yeah, just like such. I'm excited. So now we're going to just start cutting our veggies. By veggies, I mean like the onion, the bell pepper. How much onion, like half? I'm gonna use like probably half. And the way I like to cut it is basically just doing like that and dicing them. And do the same thing with half the onion. So in a separate pot we turned on, all we're gonna do is get a little olive oil so we could saute the bell peppers and onions together. So just get that in there, get a little bit of warm. Not too much olive oil. So Maria already got done cutting the onion. So go ahead and throw the onion. And then now she's gonna cut the bell pepper. The way I cut my bell pepper is I just cut the tip off, guys. And sorry I was crying because a bitch is jealous. <laughs> <laughs> and I kinda just how do you call it? It's not devein it. It's um, cut the core out. Yeah, take the core out, the seeds, like that, and then cut it in half. So, how much of the bell pepper are you gonna use? I'm gonna use the whole thing. Okay, the whole bell pepper, guys. One whole bell pepper. And then I just basically cut it into long strips. And then little squares. And then just cut it across like that. We're just dicing everything, basically. So just do all this, and then you're gonna cook the onions and the bell peppers together. Well, all that sauteing, I'm gonna go ahead and get my zucchini and peel it, wash it, and then cut it. What are you doing, Damien? Playing with your new water gun? 
<laughs> no, no. Okay, I went ahead and cut the ends of the zucchini. Oh my God. Now I'm gonna do it like this. Like cut it in half and then cut it into threes. Threes and then long ways again, how we've been doing with all our other veggies. Now you don't cook this with the, the bell peppers and onions because this will get soft when it bakes. Yeah, we're just cutting everything already that way. We can just have it ready and just basically mix it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse the mushroom. So now with the mushrooms, we're basically going to be doing the same thing that we have been doing with all our veggies, is dicing them, except Mushrooms, I think, take longer because I don't know a special trick to cut them. Just put everything in dices. Just cut everything in dices, guys. Yeah. And we do like to do a good amount because mushrooms do sure. tend to shrink. Everything's looking a little soft now. It's still a little crunchy, but the rest will be. So now let's just make some room. And let's go ahead and put our one pound of gray on beef. Work it, get it, get it, ooh, yeah. yeah. Break this up. Is that how you toss people's meat? What? Or is that how you toss people's meat? What? Or is that how you beat it? That's how you beat it. Is that how you beat meat? You beat me, yeah. You should be the pro of it. You've been beating your own meat for a long time. For 20 years. So you still do it? On you. You still beat? On you. Your meat? Yeah, on you. So we just mix this in. So we'll go ahead and cook all this. And then once the ground beef, is all cooked up. If there's any fat, like depending on what kind of ground beef you get, just drain the remainder of the fat. Yeah, but this one should be like very any fat because it's like the leanest. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and get, get all it, get this it. going. Hey, 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 get it, get it, get it, get it, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> so this looks so delicious already. So you. You already see how the ground beef is cooked in with the bell peppers and the onion. So now what we are going to be doing is taking our prego traditional sauce and then dumping it into the meat that we just cooked. Like such. You guys, my baby girl walks like so perfect already. Camina le mamas! Camina le mamas! We have a walk around the loose, guys. A walk around the loose. We're just going to eyeball how much sauce to put. I honestly don't know how much. I'll start with like half. Also, too, at this time, what we're going to add, we're going to go ahead and add the zucchini squash, whatever it is. We're going to add it to the sauce and our mushrooms. So, all together. So, oh. Now, it's all in here. I'm going to mix it up. Hold on, Daddy. So, let's go ahead and mix it. I'm going to see how saucy it looks. If i got to add more sauce. Our noodles are still cooking, which they are almost done. You want it runny or kind of like thick? No, I like it thick. Yeah, you don't want it too runny because I think when it cooks, it'll be hard to like cut at the end. I think we use a little bit, little, about half. I'll just add a little bit more to make it like half. So about half on a four pound bottle. Damn. So just two pounds then, right? <laughs> Basically. Alrighty, look at that. So this sauce is done. So now what we're going to do is just put it to the side. So the technique that Bo normally likes to do is he opens up all the bags of cheeses and gets a big bowl and just mixes it all up together. That way it's not just layered, like layered one on, like one cheese on top of the other. Yeah, so and it's like nice and mixed. Everything's a one pound, so I'll put like half, basically. If and if we need more, just add it we'll to make the top. more, yeah. Okay. It's all going in the same place anyways. That. Okay, show me how you toss the cheese. Oh, like this, just like this. Just mix it all together, guys. Okay, so this is the biggest pot that we have, guys. Like a glass, like a glass baking. I think it's like. Que pasó, mama? Well, this is the biggest pot we have, so we're gonna go ahead and spray some vegetable oil on it. Ooh, it's nice and hot. Yeah, it's super hot. This one having fingernails. Oh, you lose. You lost them. Yeah, nail. and I normally grab it with me now. <laughs> this is when fingernails come come through, guys. So just get some tongs. Put it down. Ooh, 
See, our pot's not like crazy big. So it'll have like three rows. Oh, it's hot. So we're just gonna put like a thin layer of the cottage, cottage cheese. cheese. But we said that cottage cheese is bomb with like some pepper. Or even salsa with some Doritos. That shit is I'm nice. gonna try it. I have some Doritos too. So now you're gonna get the sauce. and generous so now we're gonna layer it with the cheese concoction that Bo had made just repeat the process I think we get in this little pot I think we get three layers on huh, Uh, I want to say but that was when we didn't have I mean the ricotta cheese ain't gonna make a big difference cottage cheese our cottage cheese I said ricotta cheese so now we're doing the second layer also two guys we got the oven Preheated, so you preheat it to 375. So while you put in this together, just go ahead and preheat your oven to 375. So now repeat the process. We're gonna just put another thing of cottage cheese. This is actually our second time ever making this, guys. My sister-in-law just got out of the hospital. She's done better, so we're gonna take her some food too. Is it heavy? Yeah. How heavy is it? Pretty heavy. So now we're gonna add the cheese once again. So Bo got a strip of foil. And he's just gonna cover it. Oh, crazy. And now we are going to pop it in the oven. So put it for like, what, 40 minutes, you said? Yeah, just leave it 40 and then we'll keep checking on it. So while your food is cooking, this is the perfect time to wash your dishes. Losing out, guys. Ooh. So now we are about to check it. It's already been cooking for about 25 minutes. Ooh, that looks bomb already. Mmm. So now you're just gonna put it in. The Without the foil, right? That way you can get nice and toasty. Mm. For the remainder of 15 minutes. So now I'm gonna let Bo do the honors and pull out our granny's secret recipe lasagna. Ah! Ah! <laughs> So now we're just let it sit for like Oh, you guys. Oh my God. I'm telling you, if y'all have not tried this recipe or something similar, you guys are missing out because this is fire. So we're just going to do a little taste tester. It's kind of hot. You made me go first because it's hot. You're smart. Let me burn my mouth. Try it, JJ. Is it good? It's bomb. What do you want You want some too, Daddy? It's just tortilla thing. That's really pasta. Good. So good? Yeah. So me and JJ added Parmesan cheese, and then I added a little bit of pepper. Bomb. Better with Parmesan cheese? Yeah. She's bomb. So JJ thought it'd be a smart idea to get a cheese ball and put it in the sauce. <laughs> so let's see, JJ. He let's said it's see. cheese with cheese. Basically, yeah. Let's see. Tell us how your concoction is. <laughs> is it good? It's the same. Just a little cheesier? Yeah. So we hope that you guys did enjoy this food vlog. It was super easy. So if you are looking for like something quick and easy to make for dinner or lunch, this will be the food vlog for you guys. What the heck? Wrong side. <laughs> Take it but out. this will conclude our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, make sure to shop our Us Always merch. Our link is always in the description. And if you haven't already, make sure to follow us on all social medias. Our handles are listed. Excuse me. Our handles are listed down below. <laughs> but before we do completely end this video, our post notification shout out goes to... Goes to Brenda B. Shout out to you, girl. And if you guys do want a future post notification shout out, all you have to do is be subscribed to our channel, turn your post notification, hit the little bell, ping, and comment, show us the love. Yes, we love you guys. We'll see you guys in our next video. Deuces. Mama, Mama, dile bye. Bye. Dile bye. Bye. Dile bye. 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 <laughs> bye.